Hey there, ladies and gentlemen. RVB Shard here with another rant for you guys. Now, I'm aware it's been a while since I've brought out my flaming stick of fuck you and beat someone in the fucking face with it who deserved it. But, you know, been crazy busy with work and, of course, the Halo 2 farewell video because there's a lot of shit involved in that. So, having to work on that. Um, however, I've decided to, you know, unleash my hatred upon a couple of topics and, um, you know, take a break and just vent for a while. So here goes. First up, now, as most of you are aware, and if you're not aware, then you've been living under a rock for the last, like, year and a half, but May 3rd is the start of the Halo Reach beta, looking to be a very awesome game. However, coming part and parcel with the awesome release of a beta is, of course, the whiny little bitches who fucking start complaining because they can't get into the beta. Now, the prerequisites for getting into this beta are very simple. However, some people could just can't seem to grasp this fact, so allow me to make it very clear. You want into the beta? Buy ODST, you cheap cunts! I am tired of reading on forums people whining and going, Well, they say it's a public beta, but how can it be a public beta if I can't get into it? You know, me and my six billion other cockroach type friends who are so cheap that they, you know, don't actually buy pizza. They just, you know, lick the box. You know, these people. Fuck you, okay? Just because it says public beta does not mean you, every other fuck stick in their dog gets into it. This beta is for fans of the Halo franchise. People who actually had the common decency, general, you know, idea to go, Oh, Halo game, I'm gonna buy that. And try it out. And keep ODST in their collection so that they can actually play the frickin' beta. Ugh. It's this whole argument of, oh, well, they shouldn't call it a public beta then. Fuck you. You know, just because it says a public restroom doesn't mean you're allowed to fucking live there because you're part of the public. You know, it's a frickin' restroom. If you need to take a piss, you go into a public restroom. You don't set up shop and sit there and start charging people because you're public. Fuck you. If you want into the beta, then you have to meet the prerequisites. You have to buy ODSD. Stop being such a cheap little fucking whore and complaining. Well, I want to get into the beta, but I don't want to buy ODST because it's not such a great game and I don't... F Fuck you! ODST was a reasonably good game. Granted, it wasn't perfect, but hey, it was a fun distraction. And it got me into the beta, so F you! Nah! -ha. Next up is um, another subject, which I've mentioned before, but in the coming months it will still have continuing repercussions. Namely because of the update that's coming for Xbox Live to increase the, to, you know, add the new framework, the new friends list cap and stuff like that. So it will still work. But it's hackers and modders. Yes, you villainous bag of ne'er-do-wells and fuckers. I could quite ha- I wouldn't even piss on you fuckers if you were on fire. To be honest, I wouldn't even spit on you. I would sit back there and huck petrol at you. To be perfectly honest, I fucking hate hackers and modders. There is no reason to be that much of a douche. Not only because it's it's the attitude that I get from hackers and modders. Oh, well, I'm not hurting anybody. Yeah, you're just being a complete dick in a game that you don't need to be a dick in. If you didn't suck so hard at the game, then you might actually be having, you know, fun. But instead, you're ruining the experience for everybody. You're fucking flying and sniping someone from the clouds. Yeah, that's fun. It's called, you know, the whole point of the gaming system and the leaderboards and all that sort of shit that's been set up is to test your skills against another player's skills and see who is the better. If you're going to fucking cheat and mod and have no clip on or, you know, huck grenades that home to someone's face, then that just proves you suck. You suck horribly and you're a very, you know, weak-minded, pitiful-willed individual who should probably be anally raped by a midget wearing a metal faceplate that can headbutt your crotch. Okay? Fuck you! But the, the whole point though, before I went on that tangent, was the whole point is that these hackers and modders who got banned by Microsoft recently, well like the last couple of months, because they had modded consoles, are now still bitching and still trying to take legal action against Microsoft to get them unbanned. Fuck you! If you're dumb enough to break the user agreement and, uh, you know, breach the terms and conditions of Xbox Live, you get what you deserve. You don't have a legal leg to stand on. You may be able to, you know, have a legal leg to pogo on, I guess, but no, you suck. You deserve to get fucking anally raped, punched in the face, then drowned. 
You know why? Because you're scum. Face facts. If you're going to fucking cheat and mod, you deserve to be beaten in the head with a very rusty iron pole that will leave splinters in your head, then get infected and turn into pussy boils that will explode in your eyes. That's just my own personal opinion. I don't like modders. You can tell. You can tell. It's, it's, a very, it's a very physical rage I have towards them. They're assholes. Um, they just ruin the experience for everybody. But anywho. I digress. Um, the next thing I'm going to head on is the whole what the fuck situation that happened to EA. Now, previously, I've had a lot of respect for EA. They've done a lot of good stuff. They've, you know, released some really good games. But lately? I don't know what the fuck it is. I don't know who the, the president of EA is, but he's like entering the dick swinging competition. How many dick moves can you make in one month? Let's see. He is winning. Because there's two things they've done lately that have really hacked me off, and I don't know. I yeah. It's just it just it surprising. It takes a very odd direction because EA didn't do this before, and now they are, which is confusing. But the whole proposal EA made of charging players for demos. This is the first one that kind of caught me off guard. Charging people for demos. Doesn't that kind of negate the whole point of a demo? A demo is to show off what you've made, you know, give the player uh, an experience of what the game is so that they'll go, ooh, that's pretty nifty, I'm gonna buy it. You know, that's the whole point of demos. I thought that was the whole general consensus. You give them a small portion of the game, like one level or a ten minute stint in the game, they play it, they go, well that was nifty or that was total shit, and then they decide to buy it or not. If you're gonna charge people for demos, then fuck you. That's basically trying to screw more money out of them for a game that's already overpriced. I mean, to be honest, demos are kind of what make and break some games for me. Like, for instance, uh, Lost Planet 1, AVP, Devil May Cry 4. These games I all purchased on the basis of how cool the demo was. I wouldn't have bought those games if I hadn't played the demo. And it's the same for Lost Planet 2. I am buying that because the demo's fucking awesome and the gameplay looks sweet. But if someone charged me for that experience, I would tell I would be very disgruntled towards the game. I'd be like, no, you charged me fucking five bucks to play that ten minutes stand in the game. Go die. It's like they're taking the sort of MMO approach. An MMO charges you per month for playing the game, which is fine. It's a business model that works. They have to continually add stuff to the game and keep it fresh and new. They have to justify the charges. Whereas charging you for a fucking 10 minute portion of a game? Go die, EA. Seriously? Go freaking swivel on my middle digit, you fucking assholes. You're greedy fucking ass munches, and I don't know why the hell you're trying to pull this bullcrap. And I really hope this doesn't take effect, because if it is, I am not playing any more demos, period. But anyway, uh, the next thing they've done recently is kind of mingled with another subject. I've nicknamed it the Triangle of Douchebags. Now, it involves um, Activision, EA, and, of course, the aforementioned Infinity Ward. Infinity Ward, the scum of all. And when I say Infinity Ward, I don't mean the guys that are still left there, the guys who actually did their fucking job. I'm talking about the two ex-heads of Infinity Ward that have now set up their own new studio with the backing of EA called Respawn Studios. I don't know what the fuck EA is thinking, why the hell they're even getting involved in this dispute. Because it's between Activision and EA. Not EA. Duh, Infinity Ward, sorry. Because Activision is Infinity Ward's parent company. They own most of the stuff they do, and they're kind of responsible for their fuck-ups. So, Activision's getting a lot of hate lately, which I don't agree with, because they were a pretty decent company uh, before this whole bullshit hit. Um... But I don't know why EA is getting involved. They fucking shouldn't. They should just keep their fucking nose out of it. But I think it's all the... There's a legal thing going on where Infinity Ward, the ex-heads of Infinity Ward, are trying to get the um, legal rights to the COD franchise, which Activision own, and thank fuck they're giving them to Treyarch, because Treyarch know how to make COD games that don't suck balls. All I'm going to say, Nazi Zombies, for the win... Well, that's me. I'm pretty much raged out, so, um, peace. I'm gonna go this way. <laughs> he is not here anymore! Good. Good. <laughs> I am Bob!
I have not been here for a while because I tried to find Henry and I couldn't. And now I'm going to lick my own ear. <laughs> I don't think I have an ear. Wait, that means I'm blind? Wait, no, not blind. The other one. Crippled. No, wait. That means I have... Superpowers! Yeah!